Reflecting on the year and making plans for the next one is an important part of the season for a lot of people. Dr. Ashley Stevens is here from Cabell County Schools to share some easy ways to include the kids in this tradition with this month's Family Adventure Box. Great to see you. Good to see you. And it really is a good idea. Get the kids involved. Absolutely. We do so much professional and personal development as adults. Uh -huh. And I don't know that we remember that our kids are, you know, developing in those right. same kind of ways. They have the capacity to participate in their own way mm -hmm. in some of those conversations. So just making sure that we modify it to fit them, they can be a part of these big things too. Yeah, and that's a great idea to include them in it. Absolutely. Yeah, so we talk about goal setting as adults, especially in our jobs. How does this apply with the kids? So they might not be saying the next degree or certification right, right. I want, but they might be able to tell you that they're really excited to learn more about a hobby or a skill mm -hmm. that might inform some of your decisions in terms of, you know, what you want to budget for or find mm -hmm. classes or opportunities for and just getting them in the habit that we pause and we look at what we've done we, you know we reflect on what where we've been and then we plan for the future is a really good just routine and mm -hmm. habit uh, to kind of help with their growth if they don't ever stop if we're always just chasing right they may not realize how far they've come right so it's important I think just to give them that space and to create that conversation just you know you be the adult in the room and, right. and open up space for that so that they can see this year I learned this or mm -hmm. I really became Came close friends with that person mm -hmm. or my favorite memory was this other thing and next year I hope we can and they might come up with stuff that was not mm -hmm. on your radar they may be you know excited about voice lessons or something that you didn't <laughs> even know about yeah and sometimes it's just a matter of getting those conversations started which can be difficult at times. absolutely so busy any helpful things to help that uh, get started yes so we're gonna take the guesswork out of we have parent guide cards and we oh, did good. one for elementary and we did one for secondary because how you have those conversations right. with your kids is a little different um, and this can be the easiest, cheapest family adventure box that we've done. You can just do it at home, like mm -hmm. grab them as you're, you know, eating together. Or if you want to make something out of it, mm -hmm. you can certainly say, like, we're going to go get dinner and we're going to, like, like, this is a new tradition. This is uh -huh. something that we do. We're going to go talk about the last year that we've had and get excited about the one that's coming. Uh -huh. I love that. And we have some examples here yes. um, of some adventure ideas. So one of my favorites for the elementary is what was your favorite thing that you read, saw, or learned? so that they can they may have an answer for all three of those um, and then what are they excited about doing or excited about learning this may help you decide you know what what weekend mm -hmm. trips you want to take or mm -hmm. is, is there is there a cool experience that you can help create for them based on their interest mm -hmm. that is a great way to get those conversations going and, and you probably see this the more we get the kids involved they feel a part of the family a little more and a little more grown up. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They they think that they're, you know, 10 feet tall and bulletproof. <laughs> when we talk to them like adults and we right. put them in situations where they can take some leadership, um, you may even have them ask you these questions. They might be the ones that are kind of leading oh, this like evening um, as well. So, uh -huh. and, and it doesn't have to be evening. This can be a conversation on the way to school. Uh -huh. um, just kind of anywhere. Just some fodder to get you thinking and talking about where we've been um, and hear from them through their perspective where they're excited to go. Yeah. Now you always have really neat little cards and things. Yes. Is there a place that families could download these if they just want to make it extra special? Absolutely. So if you go to cabellschools.com mm -hmm. and go to families, from there you'll go to the Family uh, Academy and they'll be there for you. And I have one for you right here. <gasps> oh, exciting. These are always so fun to get, you know, whether you are a kid or just a kid at heart. So Absolutely. This adventure card says, let's go on an adventure let's get dinner and dream I love that idea yeah so we can go have these conversations uh -huh. and maybe you start the conversation or we trade back and forth yeah. just so that everybody's a part of it yeah and make everyone have a part of their upcoming year good way to think about 2024 Absolutely. Dr. Stevens it's been fun reflecting on some of these ideas with you and uh, looking forward to the ones we talk about in the future here too thank you so much it's always <laughs> great to be with you